Hello friends, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be reading to you a book about water. We see and use it every day, but what exactly is water and what are its properties? So let's get into this book, Water. Let's investigate water. You drink it, bathe in it, and probably like to swim and splash in it. You see and use water every day, but now it's time to look at this amazing liquid like a scientist. Inside this book are lots of fun experiments and cool facts about water. So grab a notebook and let's start investigating. Check it out. Like all liquids, water doesn't have a shape. Instead, it flows and takes the shape of whatever container it, it is in. Let's investigate to see how. Find some plastic containers in your home that are different shapes. Fill a measuring cup with water and pour into different containers. Observe how the water flows and become different shapes. Describe the shapes or draw them in your notebook. Now suck some water through a straw to see how water can take a long and a long a take on a long and thin or curly shape what happens to water when it freezes most of the time water is a liquid for example we see waves in the oceans raindrops in the sky or water in a bathtub water isn't always in its liquid form form though when the air temperature drops from 32 Fahrenheit, water freezes and is no longer a liquid. What does it become? Let's investigate to find out. You will need a black marker, a clear plastic cup, water, a freezer, a notebook, and a pencil. Make make a black line about halfway on the plastic cup pour the water into the cup to the black line place the cup in the freezer what do you think will happen to the water write down your predictions in your notebook after three hours take the cup out of the freezer how has the water changed why did the water change when when the water was liquid it filled up the cup all the way all all the, the way to the black line what do you observe about about the water now record what happened in your notebook do your predictions match what happened leave the cup on on a countertop and observe how the frozen water changes to learn more about this investigation, find the answers to the questions. See page 20 to 21. I'm not going to skip to those pages right now. I'm just going to read. And then for those of you who wanted to see that part, you can see it then. How does water change? How, how does water change as it heats up? Water isn't always a liquid or a solid. It could take another form too. When liquid heats up, it changes to an invisible gas called water vapor. There is a water vapor floating in, in the air all around us, but we can't see it. So how can we tell it's there? Let's investigate by watching what happens to a puddle of, uh, to a puddle of water as it heats up. You will need a cup of water, a hard surface such as a sidewalk or a blacktop, a notebook and a pencil, and colored chalk. 1. On a warm day, go outside and, and pour some water onto a hard surface to make a puddle. What do you think will happen to the water? Write your predictions in your notebook. Used colored chalk to outline the edges of the petal. Check the water every 10 minutes for one hour and draw 
and draw a new outline around it each time. After 10 minutes, check the puddle and draw an, a new outline around it. What do you observe ha happening to the water? What do you think will happen to the puddle? Where do you think the water is now? In your notebook, record how the puddle has changed. To learn more about this investigation, find the answers to the questions. See page 20 to 21. What happens to water vapor when it cools? When the water vapor in the air cools, it changes back to liquid. Uh, it changes back to liquid water. You can't see the water vapor in the air. However, if the vapor touches something cold, it becomes water that you can see. Let's investigate. You will need some ice cubes, two glasses, a notebook, and a pencil. 1. Place some ice cubes in a glass. 2. Stand up the glass on a countertop. Then place an empty glass on the countertop about 12 inches, and that is 30 centimeters, from the first glass. After 15 minutes, look closely at the glasses. In your notebook, record what you see on the outside of the glass, glass with cubes. What do you think has happened? Now record in your notebook. What do you see on the outs on side of, of the second glass? Why do you think it's different from the glass filled with ice cubes? To learn more about this investigation and and answers to the questions, see pages twenty to twenty one. What dissolves in water? When water is in liquid form, it, it's possible to mix with other substances. Sometimes these substances, substances seem to disappear. That's because they have dissolved. The substances are still in the water. We just can't see them. Let's investigate what substances dissolve in water. You will need salt, sugar, pepper and sand a notebook and a pencil four clean and cl four clean clear plastic cups water and four teaspoons look closely add some salt sugar pepper and sand what do you think will happen when you mix each of these substances with water will the substances float in the water sink to the bottom of the cup dissolve in the water Write your predictions in the in your notebook. Two, fill your clear cups with water. Three, stir a teaspoon of salt into cup uh, into one of the cup of water. Can you still see the salt? What is happening to the salt? In your notebook, re record what you observe. 4. Repeat the same experiment with sugar, pepper, and then sand. Use a, a clean teaspoon and, and a different cup of water for each substance. Do, you, do, do the substances float, sink, or dissolve? Can you still see them in, in the water? And this is the sand inside. In your notebook, write down what happened in each experiment. Do your predictions match what happened? To learn more about this investigation and find the answers to the questions, see page 20 to 21. Is water sticky? You can't use water to glue things together, but water is sticky in its own special way. If two drops of water touch, they will come together to form a bigger drop. This special stickiness is called cohesion. 
Let's investigate water stickiness. One, place a penny on a table or countertop. Collect two. Collect some water in an eye dropper and carefully squeeze one drop of water onto the penny. Look carefully at the water drop. How would you describe it? Draw the shape of draw the shape of the drop in your notebook. So this is one drop. <coughs> Three. Now carefully add a second drop of water to the penny. These are two drops. Keep adding water until the water spills off the the penny. Many drops. What do what do the water drops do? How many drops of water do you think will fit in the penny? Write your predictions in in your book. Four. Continue carefully. Add water drops to the penny. Record the number of drops in your notebook using tally marks like this. What are the drops of water doing now? In your notebook, draw the shape of the water on the penny. How many drops did you fit on the penny? Did you fit more or fewer drops than you predicted? Why do you think so many drops of water could fit on the penny? To learn more about this investigation and find the answers to the questions, see page 20 to 21. How does what how does a water drop hold its shape? If you look closely at a water drop, you will see you'll see that it has a rounded surface. The drop is being held together by cohesion. The water on the outside of the drop is sticking extra tightly to rest to rest off to the rest of the water. This pulling together of a water of water on the surface of the drop it is called surface tension. Try this experiment to see how a surface tension keeps water from spilling out of a glass. One. We, you will need a glass, a pitcher of water, 100 pennies, a notebook, and a pencil. 1. Carefully fill a glass to the very top with water. And gently, drop, gently drop a penny into the glass. Did the water spill out? How many pennies do you think you can, you can drop into the glass before the water spills out? Record your... Record your prediction in your notebook. 4. Look closely at the top of the glass. Describe what the water is doing. Oh, 3. Gently drop pennies into the water one at a time. Record the number of pennies in your notebook using tally marks. 5. Keep adding pennies and watch the water watch the water until it spills out of the glass. How many pennies did you drop in the glass? Did more or fewer pennies fit in the glass than you predicted? What do you think stopped the water from spilling out of the glass sooner? To learn more about this investigation and find the answers to the questions, see page 20 to 21. What makes water sticky? Water drops don't stick only to each other. They stick to other things. For example, have you noticed when you step out of a bath or shower, there's still water droplets on your skin? The water is clinging or sticking to your skin. When the water sticks to a surface, it's called addition. Try this experiment to see how addition helps water to move from a cup from one cup to another. You will need a piece of string about 10 inches, that is 25 centimeters long, a pitcher of water, duct tape, two plastic cups, a dish towel, a notebook, and pencil. One, soak a string in water for about one minute. 
Using two small pieces of duct tape, fasten the ends of the string to each rim of each cup. String tape inside the cups. Lift up cup B with your other hand and hold cup A steady on the countertop. Five. Oh, never mind. Uh, number three. Pay, place a dish towel on the countertop and stand the cups on it. Fill cup B halfway with water. Four. Lift up the cup. Lift up cup B with one hand. Hold hold cup hold cup A steady on the countertop. Cups should be in these positions. Five. Gently tip cup B so the water starts. Starts to flow out of the cup. The cup should be in these positions. Observe what is happening to the water and record your findings in your notebook. How is it possible for the water? How is it possible for the water to move from one cup to another? From one cup to another in in this way. To learn more about this investigation, find the answers to the questions. Questioned. See page twenty to twenty-one. So, discovery time. Investigating the world using science is fun. Now let's check out all the things we discovered about water. What happens to water when it freezes? When the cup of water was put in the freezer, it changed from from liquid to solid ice. Solid water takes up more space than liquid water. So the ice rose up above the black line on the cup. When the water when the when the cup of, of ice when the cup of ice warmed up, the ice melted and changed back into liquid water. Unlike water unlike liquid water Ice is a solid and has a shape. Pages 8 to 9. How does water change as it heats up? When the water in the puddle heated heated up, the puddle got smaller and smaller. This happened because the liquid water changed into water vapor and floated up into the air. Page 11. 10 to 11. What happens to water vapor when it cools? After 15 minutes on the countertop, the glass containing the ice cubes had water on the outside. This happened because the water vapor in the air cooled when, the, when it touched the cold glass, and so it changed into liquid water. The second glass stayed dry beca because it wasn't colder than the, than the surrounding air. So when the vapor touched the glass, the vapor didn't cool down. Water on, outs water on outside of glass. Pages 12 to 13. What dissolves in water? Sugar and and salt dissolve in water. These steps, these substances look as they have disappeared. You can check they are still there, though by tasting the water, it will taste sweet or salty. I would definitely not want to try that. Pepper sinks or floats in the water, and you can still see it. Sand sinks to the bottom of the cup, and you can still see it. Is water sticky? Pages 14 to 15. Is water sticky? It's possible to fit lots of water drops on a penny. This is because of cohesion. The water drops stick to each other and cling together to make one big drop. Pages 16 to 17. Water bulge. How does a water drop hold its shape? The glass was completely filled with water. 
And yet lots of penny were able to fit in the glass without the water spilling over the top. Did you see the water making a bulge at the top of the glass? This ha- this happened because of surface tension. The water at the t- at the very top of the glass was sticking together extra tightly, so it did not spill out. What makes water sticky? The water flowed down the string to the empty cup. The water did this because of cohesion and adhesion. The water drops were sticking to each other and to to the string. As, and as a result didn't fall onto the counter. Um okay. Water in your world. Water doesn't do exciting things only during scientific experiments. Check out the ways you can see amazing water in action every day. On a on a hot day it's it's great to have drinks with ice cubes in it. What happens is the ice cube as what happens to the ice as the drink gets warm? 2. When you get out of the shower or swimming pool, your hair is wet. It soon dries though. Where did the water go? Where did the water on your hair go? 3. On a cold morning, you have noticed water on on the inside of of the windows in your home. How did the water get there? When you're in in a car or in on the school bus and it rains, watch raindrops trickle down the window. What do you notice about the raindrops? You might see insects walking in the water in on the water in a pond how do you think they can do this so this is the end of the book and there are many other books in the series i actually really enjoyed this book there's one about light sound air rocks and minerals color liquids and solids plants weather heat magnets dirt and motion and i'm pretty sure to all of these you can do different experiments so i'm excited to check um them out the one i'm really excited i really want to do is the one where they tip the water and as the, the string just goes down and like it there's water in the other cup that's pretty cool oh no you can't see because i went away Okay anyways we won't be able to know though how what um how many points we earn because when i go away the points just go away because they think i restarted the book so um anyways this is it for today and um please like share subscribe if you enjoyed this book uh i will be sure to post more books to this series and i'll see you next time goodbye